So uh, in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell you not about one, but about two calculations that took me like a year to complete. So uh, it's impossible to go through all the details, but I'll try just to first state the assumptions and conclusions. And the, the two slides will look similar. Now, in, in the and, and, uh, first slide will be about quantum, second about relativity. I'm not uh, going to claim that this is how quantum works or how uh, relativity works, but I will claim that this will help us to understand uh, what quantum mechanics is telling us and what uh, relativity is telling us. So the first uh, calculation is you consider a stochastic process, which you think is Markovian on a short time scales, and it has lots of constraints which are hidden. So think about uh, FQXI member after the dinner, really drunk, walking around, doing random walk, and you think this is all it is, but no, he knows he has to go home and call his wife or what's not. Those are the constraints. You don't know about them, short time observation would never reveal that, uh, but, but they're here. Okay, so this is the system. There are some other constraints I put in that has to suffice a detailed balance, close to equilibrium, and then if you have constraints, what you have to do is use the method of Lagrange multipliers to solve for most probable trajectory. And if you do that, then you get an approximate Schrodinger equation. And this Schrodinger equation does have complex phases. And those complex phases are nothing but linear combinations of certain things that come uh, from Lagrange multipliers. So here it is. Uh, it only approximate, and it's only close to equilibrium with all those assumptions who may or may not be relevant to the real quantum mechanics, and so I call it a hidden quantum. Uh, second calculation. Um, so here I am trying to start with the quantum partition function and think in terms of what people in the CFT community do. They say, okay, it is just a function. Can I rewrite it as some other partition function? And so this guy has a, a trace of the exponent of some complicated Hamiltonian with all those operators. These operators must satisfy not just commutation relation, but also anti-commutation relations. There are some other conditions they have to satisfy. Uh, this is a function of all of those coefficients, like sources, beta, what's not. And also this additional assumption needs to be made in order for me to proceed. And if I take all these assumptions again, do calculations that I'm able to rewrite the partition function, this partition function, as another partition function, but without a trace, you have an integral here, and you have a familiar term, which is exponent of some stuff, which you would normally see, classical statistical mechanics, and there is this extra term, and, and that's where interesting stuff is sitting. This extra term, this measure of integration, turns out, must satisfy a relativistic green function equation. So here we had no time, it is just a thermal partition function, here we end up with the same partition function, but it has this additional term, and this additional term has relativity built in. Relativity at the level of uh, relativistic Green's function equation. Now, the two partition functions only agree when this extra parameter time set to one for the second partition function. So they, uh, you can think about them only agreeing at the future boundary Okay, yet this other partition form has an interpretation everywhere in the bulk. So, uh, similar to what ADA CFT people do, however, their partition function sitting on the boundary and then, and then the relativistic stuff sitting in the bulk in between. So, this is the second result uh, that, that tells us that this may be the way uh, relativity can emerge, because after all, those functions are the same. Okay, and now you can ask, all right, this is just special relativity. There is no general relativity built in in this formalism. Uh, how can you get metric which is dynamical, which satisfies Einstein equation? And I would be happy to tell you about that, but FQXI told me to just keep, organizers told me just to have two slides. So the third slide is there, but I was not allowed to send it and therefore the civilization will not know how to quantize gravity until I actually sit down and write a paper about that. Thank you.